the San Francisco 49ers against the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. Uh, it <laughs> sucks, honestly, like just because this game is nothing on paper. That we thought it, it was going to be. be. Yeah, yeah. They, they, with with everyone hurt. So match right. of the matters here. What, what do you think, Carmen? Yeah, uh, it's going to be that Rams offensive line against the Niners defensive line because there are so many injuries along the offensive line. It, the Rams lead the league already in pressures allowed with 35. That's not great for an aging quarterback either in Matthew Stafford. Um, yep. They have a 26.1 PFF pass blocking grade, which is ranked 31st. And the yeah. Rams yeah, rank 31st in the NFL with 135 rushing yards. So there are no answers is what I'm trying to get to uh, with the Los Angeles Rams offense, specifically the offensive line. They cannot run block. They cannot pass block. Uh, Matthew Stafford is out there alone. And that is just and and for a guy that's not mobile, that's a problem. Uh, you also have your top two receivers hurt. Uh, that's it's I, I there again, there's so many question marks there are so many concerns with the los angeles rams right now and just no answers and i think that that is going to manifest in uh or like the most important matchup there then is then again that defensive line and how in the world do you keep matthew stafford from getting hurt essentially yeah uh they're bad at pass blocking they're bad at run blocking oh well you when you put it that way yeah i guess that uh it doesn't really help uh, the matchup that matters to me, Rams wide receivers versus Niners secondary, simply from a somebody's got to step up, right? Cooper Cup, yeah. Puka Nakua, both those guys are down. Um, Demarcus Robinson so far this season, 86.3 receiving grade. Tyler Johnson, 66.6. Tutu Atwell, 69.6. Uh, Colby Parkinson also in the mix as a tight end, but um, you know his receiving grade, I believe, was 57.1 when I looked it up. It's just, it kind of just comes down to somebody's got to be able to step up. And I think the plus mm -hmm. factor in this one, just getting right to it is it has to be Matthew Stafford because he he played at a great level last season. Matthew Stafford had one of the best years of his career, which is really saying something because I think he has had a fantastic career, but he just played at such a high level. He was able to push the ball the way that they needed to higher big time throw percentage, but still a low turnover worthy play percentage, just really great play for him. Ended up with a passing grade around the mid eighties, uh, which is a very solid for a year, year long sample size. So it's just going to all kind of come on his shoulders. And is that fair? No, but I don't know who else does it for this Rams offense. I, I really don't. And it's just, so many injuries up front, so many injuries in the receiving room that, that yeah. again, it's unfair to ask of him to do as much as he's going to need to do to keep this team competitive. But he is the plus factor. He's the only one who's going to be able to do it. And he's talented enough to do it, but still, it's a tough task for him. So that's my matchup that matters. Those are the plus factors for me. Uh, what do you got for plus factor in this game? Plus factor, I put Tyler Johnson. I, you know, I didn't necessarily throw a dart at board of the, the receivers that were still left, but Tyler Johnson is a bigger body. We saw him with the Buccaneers, um, you know, who drafted him, that he was kind of used in some of more of those underneath routes, uh, some of those more short to intermediate yardage routes. That is something that Stafford is going to need to live in. Um, on throws of two and a half seconds or quicker, he's 26 of 36, 204 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. This is Matt Stafford's only answer because the offensive line is not going to be able to block for him. He needs to get the ball out quickly, and he needs to have guys that he can get the ball out quickly to. So I'm hoping that Tyler Johnson provides to be one of those guys, you know, given the fact that he is he has a bigger frame. He can he can hold up to some of these hits that he's going to take underneath. Um, and Matthew Stafford, quite honestly, is just going to have to get the ball out really fast in order to avoid getting hit. Yeah. I, in a matchup that matters, I wanted to, I wanted to go with Jared Verse, because Jared Verse is playing really, really well. But it's like, is it gonna matter? Go up against, he's gonna go up against Trent Williams too. So it's like, I, do I really feel like what's he gonna be? What's he getting? What Jared Verse gonna get the better of Trent Williams enough for it to matter in this matchup? No, yeah, no. but I do think, but I do think that's gonna be fun because Verse has been playing really well to start the season, and it's a great mm -hmm. test getting to go up against one of the best left tackles in the NFL in in Trent Williams. So maybe not a matchup that matters, but a fun one that I think everybody should be paying attention to if you're watching this game.